Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today we're going to talk about the art of cubism and how it was founded in the early 1900s. So we'll sit back, relax, and enjoy, and check it out. Alright, so now that you've seen a few pictures, let's talk about exactly what is cubism. In cubist artworks, objects are broken up, analyzed, and reassembled in an abstract form. Often the surfaces intersect at seemingly random angles. Backgrounds and object planes interpenetrate one another. As cubism started to take flight, a growing French artist and a very popular Spanish artist started working together in the year of 1906. Can you guess who they were? Their names were Georges Brake and the very popular Pablo Picasso. Georges Brake was born in France where he grew up training to be a house painter and decorator as his father and grandfather were. He also studied painting in the evenings at the school of Ecole de Beaux Arts. Then in 1907, he meets none other than Pablo Picasso who had already been experimenting with multiple styles of painting of his own and producing several other styles. The two started working together, and this is some of the amazing work. Alright, so now that we have that down, let's talk about the two main types of cubism. We have analytical cubism and synthetic cubism. Can you please explain that? Of course. Analytic cubists analyze natural forms and reduce the forms into basic geometric parts on the two-dimensional picture plane. Synthetic is generally a collage consisting of different materials to produce an image. Common materials for synthetic cubism often included cloth, newspaper articles or headlines, and sheet music. Another painter who later worked with this duo was known as Juan Gris. Gris was born in Madrid but lived in France for most of his life. He also studied mechanical drawing at the School of Art and Manufacturing in Madrid, Spain before he moved to Paris in 1906. In Paris, Gris soon became friends with several very popular artists, including Henri Matisse, and more importantly, Georges Braque and Pablo Picasso. Working more and more with both of them, Gris started painting more seriously, and by 1912 had developed a cubist style of his very own. So, next we have my favorite artist of the Cubist era. Her name is Luibov Popova. She was born in Ivanovsko, Russia, to a very wealthy family. Growing up with strong interest in art, by the age of 11, she began her formal art lessons. Popova traveled widely to investigate and learn from diverse styles of painting. In 1914, she traveled around France and Italy during the development of the Cubist and Futurism movement and developed a style of her own.